Before the onset of the rains that ravaged the country with floods that caused mayhem and destruction in 2018, it was preceded by a long drought that also claimed many lives, decimated livestock and wildlife in Ikumeja due to hunger and lack of water. Prolonged drought and low rains put among them Garissa County in a precarious situation as 430 cattle, 630 sheep and goats were under great risk of dying. 40% of the population at the time required food and water, according to the National Drought Management Coordinator in Garissa County, Abdinur Dabu. 40% of the population require food aid. Uh, the county had been receiving uh, below normal rains for four consecutive seasons, so that itself has put us in a very, bit, uh, very precarious situation. About 2 billion shillings was set aside by the government to provide a lasting solution to the miners. It will be remembered the wrangles that arose between Moranga and Nairobi County over water supply, where Moranga wanted some revenue for providing water to Nairobi County. We need, we need to do some ba basic benefit sharing, allowed water as a natural resource in between the various, uh, the various people who are benefiting. And if you benchmark water with the other natural resources, people in Nalok, my, our friends, Masai Mala, all the collections goes to the county government. They collect in billions. The farming was so severe and it kept escalating with about 6 million Kenyans requiring human intervention. While donating food staff to hunger stricken Kenyans, Mamangina Kenyatta called on all Kenyans in assisting the starving citizens. <laughs> Approximately 2.55 million people were food insecure in March 2018, down from 3.4 million in August 2017, as Kenya continued to face the effects of the severe drought from the previous year and high staple food prices. At the beginning of 2018, acute malnutrition remained at critical levels in Trukana Central, North, West and South, Tana River, Wajia North, North Hor, and Lesami sub-counties, while Isiul and Kajalo reported a serious nutrition situation. It was a trying time for a section of Kenyans as the pangs of hunger continued to take its toll. The government came up with a grand plan that would see construction of dams for preserving little amount of water available to be used during the dry spell. The factor is that any little water we have must be managed. Any little rainwater we receive, we cannot continue donating it to the Indian Ocean anymore. Tutakamilisha hiyo kanal, tuachilie maji, wakulima wazalishe kule. Hola, tutafanya hivyo hivyo. Galana, tutafanya hivyo hivyo. Kwa hivyo, sio tu ya kwamba tutaendelea kuleta chakula. Hapa kwenu, tutakuja tufanya kazi pamoja. Tuzalisha vya kula pamoja. Tupige njaa marufuku pamoja. Clouds of dust intermittently traversed the plains and covered everything with dust. Then, without warning, the heavens opened. The clouds gave way to incessant rains. When it rained, it poured. The heavens' atmosphere watered the earth, the soils got saturated, and the running waters merged from the highlands of Mount Kenya, the Rift Valley, Nyanza region, northeastern to the coastal Kenya. The above average long rains resulted in massive flooding in 40 out of 47 counties and with time it became a natural calamity. Hundreds of houses were marooned and thousands of people displaced with 800,000 people affected, including 311,000 displaced, 186 killed and nearly 100 injured by mid-May 2018. Of the displaced children, about 18,725 required child protection intervention and about 46,000 children could not access schooling by mid-May 2018 as 329 schools were hosting people displaced by the floods. The heavy rains continued to wreak havoc in many parts of the country. In Baringo County, pupils had challenges in schooling 
due to poor accessibility and submerged classes. This kama wanafunzi wa shule ya msingi ya Sinda tunapata shida nyingi sana. Shida ya maji tunafika shule ya mapema tunapata maji ya meja. Sasa kuingia darasa atupati mali pasipo pa kusomea. Sasa tuna tumetoka kidogo nje tumeenda shule kanisa nyingine kwenda kusomea hapo. Na hata hakuna fiti ya kukalia. Tunaenda kukalia juu ya mawe. The situation in Tana River was devastating as 10,000 people were displaced from their homes after their houses were marooned. Tana River banks could not withstand the vigor of the heavy rains resulting in a catastrophe. Sai tuko hapa maji bado yanaendelea na mvua juu inaendelea. Mahali ya kujishikilia hakuna. Naye chakula kukula hakuna. Maana mahali tunategemea ni huko chini. Chini imezama na maji. Bila kwenda huko kutafuta kitu kuokoa na watoto hakuna. Sasa mimi iko na sasa usukui iko na shaka. Mimi mtoto hakuna kula mahali kulala. Iko na wasiwasi. By the end of the day yesterday the, over 2000 people are displaced. Their, their, their homes were taken. It's, it's gone by floods. They have lost properties. They have lost everything. Now we are in a makeshift camp. Mandora County was no better from the rest of the country, which continued to face the wrath of the rainfall. The flooding also compounded ongoing diseases, outbreaks like cholera. <laughs> na ingine maji imekuwa mingi haina mahali pa kupita drainage system ya maji nayo hakuna wewe tunaomba hii mtombe ikuwa taleta hiyo baadaye itakuwa shida tunaomba hiyo inazaleta hiyo baada ya afya tunaona hiyo kama taleta shida a sad affair it was as lives were lost through flooding bridges and roads washed mudslides a farm produce destroyed and fatal accidents occurred along our roads affecting timely emergency assistance just a few but to mention, in Naivasha three people died as their car was swept by waters. Iyo maji ilikuwa imejaa mpaka kwa barabara. Si mutu anakuwa kana kosa baraba, anakosa barabara akipita. Three people drowned in Narok County, a thing that has been happening every rainy season. Kiliomba tu serikali kwa sababu ya hii janga ya hii mtaro. Mekua kila mwaka ukiwa na mpua, hii mtaro lazima iende na binadamu. So was the situation in Obunga village of Kisumu County where two people were overwhelmed by the waters as they tried to cross river wire in search of their cattle. Yanapenda kujunga ngombe. Sasa hizo alikuwa ameenda hata kutafuta ngombe yake moja ndio ilikuwa imebaki huko nyuma. Ndio sasa akapata ikivu. Sambia mvua. Blocked sewer lines draining into streets, impassable roads and traffic snarl-ups were the scenes in major cities. Nairobi County experienced heavy traffic and flash floods, submerged estates and poor drainage, while in Mombasa County, the rains caused accidents along the roads and stored marine activities due to heavy winds and high rainfall. Ironically, the regions that were hard beaten by drought and starvation, people would later die of flooding and displaced from their homes. The rains will forever remain etched in the memories of Kenyans, especially in how over 40 people lost their lives when the Solai Patel Dam broke its embankments and swept their livelihoods down the hill. Children and women were the most affected. <laughs> Nikarudi nae. Dio mtoto wakijana wangu wakanipigia simu. Wakaniambia sho sho. Wacha kutafuta mtoto. Wacha kutafuta nini changazi. Hako wapa ametoreo kwa kahawa. Na hamebeba mtoto mwingine kwa mgongo. Tunataka serikali ichukue atua immediately. Na wasituambie manene ya pata potea. Kwa sababu maisha mwanaichi wakawaida sikuizi. 
Saingine na chukuliwa kijuju. We have lost a lot of lives here and this is very tragic. To Saidiye, the families that have been affected and we also try to help these people rebuild and go back to normal life. May their souls rest in eternal peace. The cycle of drought and farming that occurs in Kenya year in, year out is still at play. According to a report by early April 2019, 14 out of the 23 arid and semi-arid counties were classified in the normal phase compared to the situation in December. The drought status in most Esol counties deteriorated in January and more counties moved into the alert stage from 7 in December to 9 in January. The off-season rainfall received in a few counties at the beginning of January was largely insufficient and its distribution both in time and space was generally poor. Pasture and brass condition declined in January due to poor forage regeneration occasioned by depressed rainfall during the October to December rainy season as well as the sunny, dry and hot weather condition that prevailed in January. The average distance to water sources for households and livestock increased compared to December across Isol counties. Distance was expected to further increase due to the prevailing dry weather conditions. A report by National Drought Management Authority NDMA shows that below average short rains slightly increased the food insecure population from 655,800 in August 2018 to about 1.1 million currently. With the 12 most affected counties having a total of 865,300 food insecure people, the national government provided a total of about 1.4 million shillings for response during the period of February, March and April 2019. As we speak, the rains are here again. Already, there are reports of death following the heavy rains in some parts of the country. Hundreds of families in Akiriamisi village, Teso South constituency, Busia County, were stranded following a heavy downpour that flooded their homes. The incident was occasioned by the overflow of River Malakisi that has been dry for the past months. According to the residents, properties of unknown value, including household goods, pottery, and livestock were washed away by the floods. Several houses were also destroyed by the floods. Elsewhere, Narok Road around Suswa area was rendered impassable by flood waters following a heavy downpour experienced in parts of Kenya, while a mother and her daughter were swept away Saturday evening by flood waters in Kibra area of Nairobi following the onset of the rainy season in the country. According to residents, the poor drainage system in the area is to blame for the disaster. With this continued cycle of floods, drought and farming, the question still remains for how long Kenyans will continue losing their properties and their loved ones due to natural calamities that could however be controlled. My name is Dereva Hilary. There goes the biggest question for how long will Kenyans continue losing their lives and property due to natural calamities that could, however, be controlled? We are hoping this is something that our government will put into place and ensure we are safe. Many thanks for keeping us company. Coming up next is Y Mashariki. Stay tuned. I'll see you on Friday. Have a good night. My name is Dereva Hilary.